हाई वाइट ब्लड सेल काउंट कॉजेस एंड सिम्टम्स वाइट ब्लड सेल्स आर वाइटल कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ द ब्लड देयर रोल इज टू फाइट इन्फेक्शन एंड दे आर एसेंशियल फॉर हेल्थ एंड वेल बींग ए हाई वाइट ब्लड ब्लड सेल काउंट मे इंडिकेट डेट द इम्यून सिस्टम इज वर्किंग टू डिस्ट्रॉय एन इन्फेक्शन इट मे ऑल्सो बी ए साइन ऑफ फिजिकल और इमोशनल स्ट्रेस पीपल विथ पर्टिकुलर ब्लड कैंसर्स मे ऑल्सो हैव हाई वाइट ब्लड सेल्स काउंट्स ए लो वाइट ब्लड सेल काउंट कैन सिग्नल डेट एन इंजुरी और कंडीशन इज डिस्ट्रॉइंग सेल्स फास्टर देन दे आर बींग मेड और डेट द बॉडी इज प्रोड्यूसिंग टू फ्यू ऑफ देम वाइट ब्लड सेल्स मेकअप अराउंड वन परसेंट ऑफ ऑल ब्लड सेल्स एंड दे आर एसेंशियल टू रेगुलर फंक्शन इन द इम्यून सिस्टम वाइट ब्लड सेल्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज ल्यूकोसाइट्स द बोन मेरो कंटिन्यूसली प्रोड्यूसेस वाइट ब्लड सेल्स दे आर स्टोर्ड विद इन द ब्लड एंड लिम्फेटिक सिस्टम्स अंटिल दे आर नेसेसरी फॉर फाइटिंग एंड इन्फेक्शन और डिजीज इन द बॉडी टाइप्स सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ वाइट ब्लड सेल्स सर्व डिफरेंट फंक्शंस मोस्ट पीपल विल प्रोड्यूस अराउंड हंड्रेड बिलियन व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स एवरी डे there are normally between 4000 to 11000 cells in every microliter of blood although this can vary according to race there are several different types of white blood cells each with varying responsibilities lymphocytes these are vital for producing antibodies that help the body to defend itself against bacteria viruses and other threats neutrophils these are powerful white blood cells that destroy bacteria and fungi basophils this allow the body to infections by secreting chemicals into the blood stream mostly to combat allergies eosinophils these are responsible for destroying parasites and cancer cells and they are part of an allergic response monocytes these are responsible for attacking and breaking down germs or bacteria that enter the body when necessary monocytes travel to other organs such as the spleen liver lungs and bone marrow where they transform into a cell called a macrophage A macrophage is responsible for many functions including removing dead or damaged tissue, destroying cancer cells and regulating the immune response. Causes. An increase in white blood cells is known as leukocytosis. It typically occurs in response to the following conditions: infection, immunosuppressions medications including corticosteroids a bone marrow or immune disorder certain cancers such as acute or chronic lympho lymphocytic leukemia inflammation injury emotional stress labor pregnancy smoking allergic reactions excessive exercise certain respiratory illnesses such as a whooping cough or tuberculosis may cause the levels of white blood cells to increase in some cases all white blood cells are affected however some people have a specific disease in which only one type of white blood cell is affected if levels of one particular type of white blood cell increase this may be due to specific trigger monocytes high levels of monocytes may indicate the presence of chronic infection an autoimmune or blood disorder cancer or other medical conditions lymphocytes if there is an elevation in the level of lymphocytes the condition is known as lymphocytic 
leukocytosis. This may occur as a result of a virus or an infection such as tuberculosis. It may also be linked to specific lymphomas and leukemias. Neutrophils Increased levels of neutrophils in their body lead to a physical state known as neutrophilic leukocytosis. This condition is a normal immune response to an event such as infection, injury, inflammation, some, some medications and certain types of leukemia. Basophils Rising levels of basophils may occur in people with a history of underactive thyroid disease such as hypothyroidism or as a result of certain other medical conditions. Eosinophils If a person registers high levels of eosinophils, the body might be reacting to a parasitic infection, allergen or asthma. There is on occasion no identifiable cause for the increase of white blood cells. This is known as idiopathic hyper eosinophilic syndrome. It can lead to serious complications such as damage to the heart, lung, liver, skin and nervous system. Those affected by idiopathic hyper eosinophilic syndrome may experience symptoms such as weight loss, fevers, night sweats, fatigue, coughing, chest pain, swelling, stomach ache, skin rash, pain, weakness, confusion, coma. Other imbalances If levels of white blood cells are lower than usual, this may be a sign that the person has reduced immune activity. This can occur as a result of conditions similar to HIV or immunosuppressant medications. A deficiency of white blood cells is why people with diseases or medications that suppress the immune system face an increased risk of infection. Abnormal blood cell production is also a feature of some cancers such as leukemia and lymphoma. A number of conditions collectively known as myeloproliferative disorders can occur in the bone marrow. This develop when too many immature blood cells are produced leading to an imbalance. Myeloproliferative disorders are rare conditions that may or may not become malignant. Symptoms and Diagnosis The exact effects of a high white blood cell count depend on the condition or factor causing them. Fluctuations in blood cell count might not cause any symptoms at all. After noting any symptoms, the doctor can use a blood test to assess the white blood cell count and further test and examinations will often be necessary for pinpointing the exact cause of the problem.